How's it going guys? It's AVFC Blog here now today. Today we are back with another transfer video and that is because Aston Villa have made another transfer. Yes, that's right guys. Today Aston Villa have announced the official signing of Bertrand Traore. This is the fourth signing of the transfer window for Aston Villa and uh, well, it's not a bad signing, is it? So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the main man Bertrand Traore and we're also going to be talking about the signing we made a few days ago in Emilio Martinez. So that's all I need to say for the intro. If you guys are new here, please subscribe. We're trying to get to 10k by the end of the year. And of course, if you do go on to enjoy the video, leave a like. And that is it for the intro. So let's get on to talking about the main man Bertrand Traore. If we look at Bertrand Traore's stats first, of course he, we, we signed him from Lyon where he played there for three years. In the first season he played for Lyon in the 17-18 season he played 31 games and scored 13 goals which is a pretty good goal ratio for a winger. In 18-19 season he played 34 games and scored 7 goals and last season in the 19-20 season when Lyon came 7th he played 23 go games and only scored 1 goal which isn't the greatest goal ratio don't get me wrong but still he is a right wing a position we desperately needed to improve on I think he's one of the most important signings we've made as we uh, improved our striker position and I said we need a winger we need a winger I don't think El Ghazi's good enough for the Premier League Trezeguet yes he scores goals but is he good enough for me I don't think so so we have gone and signed a winger which is you know very very good his preferred position is a right winger but also he is left footed which means, you know, he could play on the left as well. Even if he does play on the right, Trezeguet and El Ghazi played on the left uh, throughout, throughout the whole season last season. So they could keep swapping roles. We were linked with Rashika for a very long time. And I think uh, I think now that we've brought Triore, I don't think we're going to go for Rashika anymore. Uh, we've, we've been linked with Rashika for about a year now. So I think towards the end, a lot of Villa fans, you know, said, you know, unfortunately, this isn't happening. Rashika hasn't even left, uh, le left the club he was at last season, let alone sign for us so I feel like that we've invested in Triore instead of Rashika. Yes Rashika maybe a little bit younger maybe a little bit more creative possibly better but I still think Traore is a very very good signing for 17 million nowadays is a pretty big bargain for a 25 year old and he has played in the Prem before so he does have a little bit of Premier League experience so I think it's a very good signing overall. Of course, he did play for Chelsea when he was a lot younger, uh, 2014 to 2017. And in his last season, I think he played 10 games, scored two goals, and I think got about five or six assists. But I was reading something before he even played a league game for Chelsea in like cups and different type of cups. In five games, he scored four goals, which once again is a very, very good goal ratio for a winger. I know he is very, very, very quick. And I think he will fit Dean Smith's play style well. You know, we've, we we could potentially do a 4-3-3. Three, three. Ollie Watkins up front. Uh, Traore right wing. You know, possibly have Jack on the left. Maybe El Ghazi. And then you could have Jack, McGinn, Hurahan in the middle. And... It would work very well. You can, I think the main thing is about this signing is 17 million nowadays isn't loads of money. We've improved in the positions we needed. We needed a striker. Boom, we've gone and brought one. We needed a right or left mid. Boom, we've gone and brought one. We potentially needed a goalkeeper, which I'll talk about later on in the video. But boom, we went and got one. And we could have potentially needed another defender. And boom, what did we go and do? Yes, you guessed it. We went and got one. Do you remember when Traore was at Chelsea? He was getting quite a lot of hype. I think it was only about 18, 19, 20 at the time, but he was getting quite a lot of hype. And I remember on match of the day, I think he scored his first goal against Stoke, I believe. It might have been Sunderland. I think he came off the bench, but he played very, very well that game. Very, very quick, very, very young. He looked like a good player. And if, and if he can cause problems for defenders back then, then hopefully he'll be able to cause problems for defenders now. And that's all we can really ask for him. And also, what I find quite interesting is personally, Traore, um, I think my mate mentioned it to me on the Friday, so yesterday, that we could be signing Traore. And I was like, nah, I've never even heard of that rumour. You know, I'd be the first to know. He showed me this link and it did say that we were very, very close to signing him. And that was the first I heard of uh, Traore signing for Villa. The first I've heard of him. Then literally the day later, today, the Saturday, it was announced that he signed for us, which I do find very interesting. How for me, I don't know about everyone else, but I didn't see 
any rumours at all about Triore signing. Um, and also, like, Ollie Watkins. There was a massive build-up to Ollie Watkins. Like, there was, like, rumours for, like, two months he finally signed. But I do find it interesting how, with Triore, for me, I didn't hear anything about him even signing for us. And he is quite young, you know, 25 years old, isn't that old really for a footballer, isn't too young, it's more about in the middle. He's played for Leon for a few years, he played for Chelsea, now he's playing for us. He was on loan at Ajax for like, I think, a season. Vitesse, he was on loan. So he is an experienced player, he's played in the Africans Cup of Nation twice, I do believe, with uh, with his country. I think he's got well over 50, 50 appearances for his country, so you know, he is a well experienced player. And I was looking at loads of news headlines and news articles and they are all bigging him up. I do think he had a very, very good season with Leon last season. I think he caused defenders a lot of problems and although he didn't score many goals, I do think he got quite a lot of assists and if that's what he can do for Leon, then he can do that for Villa. To wrap the Bertrand Traore transfer up, I'd say 17 million is a very, very decent fee. Um, we definitely improved on our winger. We desperately needed one, and I think he's a very big upgrade from Trezeguet, and I think he's a good up. I think he is a big upgrade from El Ghazi as well. I'm very, very happy, happy with the signing. He's like a you were saying Bolt wonder kid sort of per person so hopefully he can be very very good for Villa and let's just see what happens the next player I'm going to be talking about is a goalkeeper who we signed about three days ago and that is a goalkeeper we signed from Arsenal Emilio Martinez of course we did sign him for 17 million the same fee around about the same fee that we paid for Traore and I wasn't too sure about this one because I did say on my Instagram you know is this guy better than Tom Heaton? And then a lot of people told me that this guy was very, very, very good. Um, and I've seen videos and this guy is a very good goalkeeper. Of course, we did get rid of Pepe Reina to Lazio. And um, we only really have Nyland and Heaton. And I'm pretty sure Heaton's still just about recovering from injury. So um, we really needed some sort of goalkeeper. And we went and signed Emilio, Martin Emilio Martinez, uh, which is a... Uh, very, very good. Of course, Leno got injured and the only goalkeeper that Arsenal had was Emilio Martinez and he pulled off some great saves and got a lot of hype uh, after lockdown. Some really good saves were like save against Brighton. I think he made two very, very good saves against Wolves in the Wolves game. There was one game in the Europa League, I think it was, that uh, this player literally thumped the ball and he got their fingertips to it and that's just to name a few and literally this guy has been everywhere he's been on loan to Oxford, Sheffield Wednesday, Wolves, Reading, R R Rotherham, Gafite and he's literally spent nine years at Arsenal and has only made 20 appearances he's very very underrated and he's 28 years old so once again for a goalkeeper he's not that old at all one thing I would say is I'm not too sure if he's as good as Heaton a lot of people are telling me that uh, he's better than Heaton but I'm not sure because Heaton really really did save us uh, for, for when he wasn't injured he really really did save us last season. If Heaton does recover from injury what do you do? Do you start Martinez? Do you start Heaton? Which one's going to be on the bench? Will one of them play all the cup games? I don't really know but we've got two very very good goalkeepers in our team especially when Heaton recovers fully. As I said he really did shine for Arsenal after lockdown making some very very crucial saves and the 17 million pounds is a very good signing. As I said, a lot of people have told me this guy is really, really good and we have picked him up on the cheap. And um, uh, it was funny because I know his wife or his girlfriend, I think it's his wife, did follow Aston Villa Instagram like a day before uh, he was officially signed. Then I think he, I think, then I think she unfollowed Villa because everyone knew that he was about to sign, which I thought was quite funny. But either way, this guy is a very, very good goalkeeper and I will be interested to see if we keep uh, Heaton in goal or we do play Martinez. Either way, that's two very very good signings of talks about in this video and another thing Jack Greenish signed a five-year deal for Aston Villa I'm not going to talk about it too much but that is absolutely amazing showing that Grealish will hopefully stay for a minimum another year and it shows that he really does love this club a lot enough to stay for potentially five years either way that's some great news for, for Jack for the Villa as a whole but 
there we go. That is the end of the video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Villa, of course, are playing on Monday. I'll be doing a live stream, so tune along for that. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think these two signings, Martez and Traore, will play good? Um, are you happy that we signed them? Let me know in the comments. If we can get 100 likes on this video, that would be very much appreciated. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm very happy about Traore and I'm happy about Martinez. So yeah, hope you have enjoyed this video. Up the Villa, Transfers FC are back. Yeah.